Hi, we're um, doing Trader Joe's items. We're reviewing them. I'm gonna put that in the bag when we get there. She's gonna put that in the bag. Yeah, There's I mean, I mean. no consistency in terms of the items that we are reviewing. You're gonna find out what we're reviewing as we go. Wait, did you put it in the bag? Not yet, cause I want it's melting. Come on. I wanted to. I wanted to show the box. Oh. It's no, it's, it's still in there. We're doing Thai tea mini mochi. I've never had mochi. Have you? It's no, I don't know what a it thin is. sheet of traditional mochi wrapped around a bite sized nugget of luscious coconut based Thai tea filling. I don't know. Let's do it. I like it because it's not super sweet. It's texturally very weird in a way that I like it. It don't have no taste. You don't think it tastes like tea? It tastes like tea to me. The dough doesn't really have a feeling. Uh, it uh, does. The texture is weird, though, isn't it? But the cold is... Oh, close that. I'll close that so they don't know about our YouTube career. Oh. We're in a Trader Joe's parking lot. They both just taste like tea. I feel weird about what I just ate. <laughs> I liked it. I mean, it's good. It's cold. It's refreshing. A refreshing dessert. If you want a refreshing dessert, get Trader Joe's Thai Tea Mini Mochi. If That's Cheryl's review. Refreshing. Refreshing. Now I got to put them in the bag so they don't totally melt. You want yeah. another one? Do you want another one? Just because they're cold. Yeah. Okay. So, so far since that's our first Trader Joe's item, it's a number one spot. But who knows what will happen with these next ones. Only time will tell. Can you do it? Yeah, <laughs> it's very easy. It's lunch snack time. Well, for lunch we had ice cream, but it was good. It was good. Mom got um, penguin tracks, or as she said to the person that was working at the ice cream shop, penguin tracks. <laughs> Did I? Penguin tracks. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... <laughs> Can I get a cup of <coughs> penguin tracks? <laughs> you may. Um, but we got some goodies. So we're doing the Trader Joe's Romesca dip, which is <clears throat> this bright and zesty Spanish inspired sauce is made with roasted red peppers, tomatoes, and crushed almonds. Use as a sauce or a dip. I'm gonna smell it. It smells. I smelled it when I was taking the thing off, and it smells pretty, pretty good. It smells good. I'm into it. And then we have a Trader Joe's PB&J bar. Soft and chewy oat bar with creamy peanut butter and strawberry fruit filling. Which one should we do first? Should we do the dip, and then yes. this is our just Okay. That's what I was thinking. <sighs> okay. I'm going to have us do a spoon. First. And what? I'll play spoons. How do you play spoons? How do you do it? The spoons for you know how people play spoons. Like as an instrument? Mm -hmm. Or as a game? As an instrument. And now you do it. You're supposed to. And this. You do, you do this. I think you do them backwards, but they clink together. It has to be like that, but there's, there's nothing not to break it. And then do it. I don't know. Never mind. Let's try. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let me stir it up a little bit. Okay, we'll do it with a spoon first and then we'll try these cornbread crisps and we'll try a pretzel and kind of see what is best and also if we recommend this. Okay. I just want a little taste. Right? Me too. I, I just coated mine. Oh, is that what you did? Essentially, okay. yes. Okay. <laughs> So I famously can't taste it because I just coated it. Mm. Mm. It tastes like something. It tastes like some kind of chip. But my bird box brain can't Ooh. indicate what chip it is. You can taste the crunchies of the almonds though. The crunchies of the almonds? Do you, do you like the crunchies of the almonds? Mm -hmm. Me too. I like that. It tastes like something though, and I can't remember. Like a sun chip, maybe? Does it taste like the garden vegetable sun chips? I like that combo. Honestly though, I'd eat these bad boys by themselves. These are good. <clears throat> Those are really good. I have another one. The yeah. cornbread crisps. While we're not reviewing them, because I had had them before and I forced mom to try them last night, I'm going to put y'all onto that. But they're really good. That's what I mean. And they're good. Trader Joe's. These <laughs> are Aldi, which technically Trader Jones, Joe's is all by, owned by Aldi. So in many ways, this is also Trader Joe's. Have you had them before? They're pretzels? Mm -hmm. Yeah. These ones don't look as salty as they usually are. Okay. Oops. I do think I like it with the pretzel more. Just because I can taste it, I would rather just eat those. Right. Like, I think it's good with that, with the cornbread crisps, but I'd rather just eat the cornbread crisps. And what I actually think, because I use my brain, is I would rather just use this as a sauce, I think, like on things. Like a salsa or like that? Not a salsa, but like, like on a bowl of like chicken and rice and veg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's good. I do like it. Cheryl, that was Cheryl's recommendation. Trader Joe's Cheryl. Yeah, it was. What was it? The one that said Cheryl? It was one. Yeah, she said this is the best Trader Joe's item. But what Cheryl obviously is ignorant to is the fact that these things exist. These things are good. I like them more than the sauce. I don't go to Trader Joe's. You're not the Cheryl. Oh. <laughs> All right, so she looks like a Fig Newton. Okay. Smells kind of, I'll say it, gross. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not real sure what It kind of looks like a dog treat. <laughs> so, there you go. Thank you. Bottoms up, bottoms. It kind of tastes like an Uncrustable that got left on, like, the school bus while you're, like, at the track meet. And then you come back out and you're like, Mom forgot to give me money and I couldn't buy something at the concession stand. I guess I'll eat this old Uncrustable. And you eat it and you're, like, sad about it. But you're like, oh, at least I'm not hungry anymore. And then you get home and you puke and then you have to finish your math homework for the next day. It's strong. This is, um, bland. Bland is all hell. They didn't add one iota of salt to this thing. 70 milligrams of salt for one thing? That's not enough. That's only 3% of your daily value. This thing needs salt. Sea salt's the last ingredient. 
Honey, that's too far down. You don't think so? It's okay. Would I buy it again? No. No. Would I make a peanut butter and jelly instead? Yeah. It don't even taste like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know what it tastes like. I think it tastes like, um... It just tastes like strawberry and oat. Like, it tastes that, like one of those... Is it supposed to be strawberry? Yeah, strawberry fruit filling. Oh. Um, maybe I was thinking grape, and that's why I was thinking this has got a weird taste. It just tastes like strawberry to me. Like, um, one of those... Nutri-grain bars. Not real flavorful, though. No, it? it needs salt. Because it doesn't have any flavor. Not that salt's flavor, but salt definitely improves the flavor of this nonsense. That was... That was... Disappointing. I'm still going to eat them, but... Well, yeah. Am I going to be happy about it? Jury's out. But this, recommend. We like the... We, so far, we, Oh, so we're doing our ranking system. So right now we have the Thai... Where are we at right now? In terms of... We've had three things. Mm-hmm. This is definitely the bottom. Right. Yeah. I'm going to say in terms, so what I really like is when something's versatile, like I can use it as a dip or a topping or something. So I'm going to put this at number one, but I think the taste of this and the taste of the Thai tea mochi are both so, the Thai tea mochi is in second. This is like in third, but it's like a far third, like the, like, this dip in the Thai tea mochi have already lapped this on the court, not court, track. Lapped. Like, two laps in front. And this one's, like, this one's, like, me in junior high trying to do cross country. And there's, like, 25 girls running. And, I, and so, like, I'm in last place. And I still get, like, a 25th place medal. But it's only because there were 25 people running. And that is the true thing that happened to me as a child. <laughs> So, <coughs> is that, would you agree with this ranking? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, we'll be back soon with um, the other two things, which you can't, oh. <gasps> I was going to say, which we can't reveal yet. Okay. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese, but shh, we can't let, we can't tell the I'm other. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. All right. Item number four. Gertie, we're eating you. My mom got the first dose of the vaccine today, so if she's kind of low inch, that's why. <laughs> she's not feeling it, right? She's not feeling it, but that's okay. You know what? Because today you're not feeling it. This summer you're gonna be you're gonna be tossing your booty on everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've got Trader Joe's macaroni and cheese. I think this is supposed to be, like, their craft. It was a dollar. 99 cents. We'll see. I like the art. Gertie. She's fine. Now, in the interest of transparency, so I made this, and I used... So, it calls for... Two tablespoons low-fat milk in the cheese sauce packet, which I did. But then I added a little bit of sour cream. I didn't have enough milk, did you? No, I did. Oh, okay. I added sour cream, and then I added, um, <clears throat> we had a few mushrooms, and I had sauteed them, so I did add mushrooms. Oops. Oops. Oops, all berries. I spilled this, though. Okay. All right, you ready? I'm going to have no mushrooms. That's what I was going to say. We shouldn't do mushrooms first. Clink. Oh, frick. It's box macaroni and cheese. It's box macaroni and cheese. What can you say? You if you add cheese and butter and... Yeah. <laughs> if you like that, go for it. Yeah. Mm, okay. 
What was our rating so far? So my rating was this first, the mochi, and then the PB and J things. This was gonna go ahead of the PB and J, but behind everything else. Right. Okay. So number four, I guess. No, number three. I mean, yeah. We still got beans left. No, it's secret. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. It's okay. It's 99 cents. I feel like, is that cheaper than craft or the same price? Not the same price. Okay. Anymore. Well, crap, probably more. It says three servings. We all, everyone watching this, we both know that's a damn lie. Because well, is this the whole, this all the whole box. Yeah, this is two servings. All right. But, yeah, it's just box mac and cheese. <laughs> Trader Joe's giant baked beans and tomato sauce. Cooked cannellini beans and tomato sauce with Mediterranean herbs and spices. The Mediterranean herbs and spices in question. Sort of tomato sauce. Are the Mediterranean spices really just dill, sugar, parsley, r crushed red pepper, and black pepper? No, that's part of the tomato sauce. Is the tom- Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm curious to see what a giant baked bean is. It's a cannellini bean, so they are what? They, <laughs> <laughs> they look like lima beans. Them big boys. I'm going to cut myself accidentally. Okay, whatever. We're getting it. Okay. Hold on. Well, I guess I have small hands, but... Wow. <laughs> but that's a big bean. Are you supposed to warm them up? No, it says just ready to go. There is a lot of... There's parsley. Visible parsley. Okay, well, let's do it. That's tasty. These were actually good, aren't they? Sorry, I did lick my hand. I did just wash my hands, but those are very tasty. Those are. That's my number one. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> it's like, okay, be careful. You're scaring me. Stop. I did it. Well, you got sauce on the table and you got sauce on my hand from your fingers. <laughs> We're just sitting here licking our fingies. We're like cats. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, there's a little onion. They're really good, though. Aren't They're they? really tasty. Um, mm. I don't remember how much these were, but what day? Well, I don't know. What... Like maybe two dollars, two ninety nine, two dollars. Either dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. Either way, they're very good. I was thinking they were like 99 cents. But oh, maybe know. they are. I don't know. I don't know. But I recommend these. We're going to eat them with... um. We're going to eat them with some... um, Grilled vegetables and some pita. And some tzatziki. And the romesco dip that we had bought. But this is my number one. My yeah. second one was the romesco dip. Third was the Thai tea mochi fourth was um mac and cheese mac and cheese and fifth was the P bottom of the barrel pb and j bars yeah things i would actually recommend you getting this this get this this is tasty they look like butter beans they do look like butter beans pretty good Mmm, big boys. I like them. I don't want to describe how they taste. They just taste good. They're not like baked, but your classy barbecue baked bean. Mm. Nope. Whatever. Good. Well, thanks for watching Trader Joe's. They should support us. Yeah, sponsor us. I Kroger mean, needs to sponsor us. Trader Joe's needs to sponsor us. 
Hell, Exxon Mobil. I don't know why. Just do it. I'll take blood oil money. Me too. We'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Mar Marlboro needs to sponsor me. <laughs> Pike Water Incorporated needs to sponsor us. I think that's the only sponsorships. I think those are all the reasonably feasible ones. You think? Yeah, we could get those. Yeah, no problem. Because we're so cute. We're so cute. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Um, Trader Joe's hose out. Hose out. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. <laughs>